What happened, what the hell, Destructoid? It's your old bosom friend, Jim Sterling, here. I've had a lend of one of these razor edge things, which is from Razor, and it's called The Edge. And it is a tablet that can run PC games, but not shitty little ones. Uh, you can run a game like a Skyrim on it. Now, bear with me, I've never actually done filming off a thing like this before, so if it looks shit, whatever. You're not paying for it, are you? So, let's have a look of it. Here's Skyrim running on the Razor Edge. Here I am. It's got some mods on it, which were downloaded from the, uh, from the Steam Workshop. A couple of graphics mods. Nothing too intensive. And this is, um, I believe running on like, I let the, the, the Razer optimize it, and it's running on, I guess, the lowest settings. And it's uh, still got a little bit of choppiness to it, but not a huge amount. Let's, uh... Just go out into the wilderness a little bit. Okay. Pretty snowy snow snow snow. Isn't that lovely for everyone? For God's sake. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a fight with some trolls on it now. Oh, exciting, this computer magic. Now, this is difficult, because these stickers are not the most uh, nuanced controllers, even by uh, console controller standards. So, getting it fiddly is a bit difficult. But... With Pikachu at my side, anything, god damn anything is possible. Uh, except this. No, oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> Just did that just to show you you can still do that on the razor's edge. Do, 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 do. I said, I've got not really got any purpose here, just wandering about, just to show you that you can indeed. Do oh, I wasn't even reading that I'm on the edge of the map. It's hard to play and do talking. But then again, I fully understand I have an incredibly annoying voice, so you don't even want me to talk. I'm just doing it out of petty spite. Just nattering when I should be playing the game and concentrating. It's also bloody heavy as well. I apologise if I'm not keeping it in focus because uh, as much as the portability of this thing may be touted, it's not very portable at all. It's, it's a fun novelty, that much I will grant thee, but it is uh, not exactly something you can put in your pocket and take on the bus with you. Highly conspicuous and heavy, and I mean, you'd just be worried you'd be dropping it. And what fun would that frigging be? Okay, there's quite enough of that on the Skyrim. 
Uh, we need to get out of here. Uh, I won't bother saving it. Uh, Okay, uh, here is a Steam for you. Got a few games here uh, downloaded. Not not all of them can be played though, unfortunately. Uh, let's do a bit of Dark Siders too. Bit of a fiddly old screen as well here. Beginning death saw the crow father. Now, the guy doing this narration here is uh, Holt from Television's Angel, starring Dave Borealis, uh, otherwise known to his friends like me as Matt Borealis. So that's exciting. It's just a little bit of a fact for you, a little uh, Darksiders fact. Because I know how much you love facts about Darksiders and facts about Television's Angel, starring Matt Borealis. Thank you very much. So again, I mean, this is running on the, the lowest settings, but then on the smaller screen, it uh, doesn't look noticeably bad, you know, it, it looks impressive enough that, that it doesn't matter if you're into that sort of thing. But then, of course, if you are into playing these sorts of games, you probably just want to play them on a big screen anyway. Oh, so I'm not even concentrating. Gotta keep this bloody thing in focus. I can't even remember what I'm doing. Get the fucking idea! To be honest, the game comes into its... Well, sorry, the system comes into its own a lot more when it's playing more simple things like this. I mean, yeah, it can play Crisis 3 if you run it on low settings and uh, pray to some sort of merciful deity, but, you know, games like this look better on the system they uh, work with the controller a lot more readily, of course. So, a lot more fun. Fun for all. The whole damn family. And we love it for that, don't we? You know, you can hit that for a thing. I didn't need to do it. Again, it's... I don't know how people do this professionally. I mean, not that I'm doing it with any semblance of professionalism. It's actually been years since I've played Castle Crashers, so apologies for being shite at it. Just uh, re-downloaded it on Steam to uh, retest it. I've not actually played it since the bug uh, that took all my uh, progress off, because I'd done literally tons of stuff on Castle Crashers. And then that, that old school bug came and, and ruined everything, but oh well, I don't hold a grudge. I 
again. Uh, sorry about the uh, not holding things correctly. I am the worst. I mean, if you're even watching at this point, hats off to you, mate. I picked this level to show because I like the music on it. It is very pretty music and it's going to play at my wedding. My wedding to a dog. Because you can do that here in uh, Mississippi, ha ha the south. why I don't do Let's Plays. Okay, I've started up Crisis 2 to show you. I was gonna do Crisis 3, but uh, Origin. Uh, so instead, it's gonna be Crisis 2. I mean, yeah, it's, it's running okay. It ain't running too bad. Ah. played a bit first uh, to skip all this so I could just go straight to the gameplay. Um, in fact, I could just cut the camera now and then go straight to it, but I don't know if I'm going to... Okay, here we are with the Crisis 2. Uh, just going to run in and do some shooting, just uh, see about showing off the combat and whatnot. Where are we? Where's a guy? do all this on it, it works more or less. I don't know how to get rid of the, the Steam message though, I don't know what's going on there. from the angle I'm holding this at. Uh, I'm assuming I'm gonna shoot things. I hope. I've got a vague sense of where everything is. Only a vague one. Prophet, 
And anyway, that's Crisis 2 running on the thing at uh, on the high setting, as opposed to very high or ultra arrogant graphic settings that. Isn't that fun?